Welcome back to finals day at the J-Bay Open. This is quarter final number three. Julian Wilson taking on Gabriel Medina. These guys have a lot of history. Australia versus Brazil. Wilson 27 years of age. Medina still just 22. In one-on-one -on -one heats, it's dead even. So this will settle the score. Trying to man this exchange by holding the deepest position in the lineup is a tradition for Gabriel Medina, and he will get the first wave. Nice approach on that first backside snap. Floats it, driving it vertically. Right back off the roof with the float, and now jams it again. Snap to float combinations. Now heating up, a couple of big, powerful vertical hacks for the former world champion, and one more to put this thing to bed. Wilson on the next wave. We'll catch up to him on his finish. We'll bring you that wave in entirety in just a moment here. Uh, Julian deciding, you know what, I'm just going to sit and wait it out. Let's take a look here at the uh, replay, but great start. Nice, quick, powerful snap. Shows a little variety there with a floater. Again, projection down the line. No pumping at all. He was able just to unleash maneuver after maneuver. Looking really quick. Absolutely no grabbing of the rails and a solid finish. What a start for Gabriel Medina. Behind him, wave number two. Julian had to chase down this one, but it did build down the point. A little bit bigger wave. There's that snap, getting the fins out the back, the arc. So a nice three-turn combo. Difference in this wave for me was the fact that Julian was able to attack the lip a little bit more, and that's that forehand. We're definitely going to see some of that uh, as these waves kind of, you know, peel down the point. Julian right here up and riding off the bottom, snaps it off the top, set up turn right there, bang. Nice hook in the corner again, off the bottom, down the line, trying to find some open face for a big turn. Here it is, bang, a big layback gap in the ball. We love that. And he's going to try and find the end turn down here as this thing slams shut right on the brick, so he's going to kick out. Let's take a look. So nice one-wave set. Um, you know, again, making sure that it, he executes that first turn. Really nice second turn. Ton of energy, ton of speed. Here's some flow. That's what Julian has in his repertoire. And then there, really laid into that final move. Not risking it on the very, very inside here. As you can see, just drained out two inches of water. Decides, no, nope, I don't need to get some more fillets on my face. But look at this first turn. Snap, but almost setting up this next one and this is where it's nice and steep you know the vertical approach too it's tough to get vertical when you're on the smaller conditions you know you want to chase it all the time so to be able to point that nose straight up to get that snap is really tough to do so nice work there by julian and then here this is where he knows he's got to finish strong with all that speed similar to what we saw josh kerr do hold that rail through that maneuver and then lay it in there, like really when you start to slow down. Welcome back to the J-Bay Open. Julian Wilson floats one off the top as we come back from break. Beautiful open face, forehand hook. And now jams it off the lip. Wilson, just a nice and easy approach into the finishing move to stay on his feet right in front of the bricks. It wasn't like it was a mistake with that he got that um, those that refresh in the face. It was seriously just a normal kick out, but uh, the wave just disjointed. As we see, that arc right there was beautiful work. I mean, this is a smaller wave and was able to, to pick that area of the wave that was slow enough to be able to do the full committed laid out carve. Over my shoulder, he's already in the semifinals, Joe, but Gabriel Medina out in the water, number two on that heat leaders board. Obviously, John John is only 100 points behind him. But if Gabriel loses in this heat, John John will put himself in second place. As this is stop number six on the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour, former world champ Gabriel Medina was surfing for the 2.5 here, Pete. Yeah, he sure was. And, you know, and that's a thing, I, you know, it's listening and hearing that clock tick away. He made the move. Now Wilson locks in. It's going to come down to this. Deep on this section. He's still waiting for a first turn. It's going to hold him back. Nice snap, tight and complete, front side float, working hard for the finish. Another speed section off the top to float into a forehand carb, looking to finish it up nice and solid. Stays on his feet on the bricks with one minute to go. Medina taking a look at a wave. He'll crawl into this one to try to give himself a chance to compete for a semi-final berth. 
First snap, nice and tight down the line, already into a third off the top. So quick in transition, jams it again, backside <laughs> flow to answer. Oh, these two have the most amazing heats. It is always like this. Now we're on the sand again, waiting for scores. <laughs> With that uh, effort, right at the buzzer, Pete. Let's take a know. look. I don't know. So this one, very nervous to get around this section, but he does. And this is a nice size set wave, so you would have to say he's going to improve and get the score that he needs. Horizontal surfing, but connects and gets the inside and was able to complete the final move. Good stuff for Julian Wilson. I would say, yeah, we're going to see the score come in for Julian. Numbers dropping for Julian is 6.5. Oh, man, the 4.0. I mean, he did everything he could to try and get a 4.0. I mean, small wave. Medina needing a 4.0 right at the buzzer. He's watching the scores drift in. And it's not enough. A 3.60 from the former world champion, and Julian Wilson survives another photo finish onto the bricks. Wilson keeps that tradition alive against these crazy matchups against Gabriel Medina in his career, beating him on the final exchange of pipe. Also, Super 2 Bolsh and Panish for big CT victories.